There's one thing that I just do not like about this system, and that is the... Yo, what up, y'all? All right, so today's video, man, I'm hyped because this is a product here. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. Uh, I've been always interested in uh, checking out the Steam Deck here uh, by Valve, and this is uh, this is a first for me, man. I'm, I'm hyped, man, because as you guys know, I've had on here the Lenovo Legion Go. I've had on here the Asus ROG Ally, which I'm not gonna lie, I am a fan of this one, but... I've never checked out a Steam Deck before, and I felt like, you know what, since they came out with the OLED model, let's go ahead and just make this two first for me, y'all. This is gonna be the first gaming handheld console with the OLED screen, as well as this is gonna be a first for me when it comes to checking out Steam Deck. So in this video right here, man, what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be unboxing this bad boy, I'm gonna be showing you everything you're gonna get inside, you already know my way of how I like to do it. And then on top of that, man, we're gonna be uh, setting this up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the gameplay on this new OLED screen, man, and I'm gonna see, is it really worth the hype in regards to uh, the OLED panel on here when it comes to a screen of this size? And uh, we're gonna test everything out, y'all. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy unboxed and uh, let's get to it, let's go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is they got a nice little, they got a nice little pull tab, but do we need to break it though? Hold on, let me see, do I gotta break, do I gotta break the tab? Cause sometimes, you know, I like to keep my stuff in pristine condition if I don't have to. Uh oh, uh oh. Look at that, look at that. See man, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta be breaking everything. <laughs> we get these zippers here, which we're gonna have to break. Where am I, uh, why did they put, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get this. Like, I, I don't get that, but okay. Let me go ahead and find my knife. My knife somewhere around here. Somebody done jacked me for my knife. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, we found it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pop this off right here. All right, boom. Before we even open this up, I do like the fact they even gave us a case. Let's just start there. Uh, so this is something we don't have to buy that's extra, but you already know I'm gonna have screen protectors for you guys down in the description section below, man, because like I said, when it comes to any of these devices, where's the ROG Ally, where's the Lenovo Legion Go, or if it's this Steam Deck, and the fact that this bad boy here has an OLED display, highly recommend you guys put a screen protector on here for sure, but golly, this bad boy looks good. Whoo, let me turn that off, whoo. Okay, all right. Oh yeah, this feels nice in the hands right here. All right, look, we ain't gonna get too excited. We ain't gonna get too excited just yet. We get a nice little cleaning pad here, which I definitely think is a nice touch that they include this in the packaging because as you all know, I always use my handy dandy microfiber cloth for everything. So the fact that they gave us one in the package, shout out to Valve on that. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and, oh, do we get anything else in here? Uh, all right, oh, does this open up? Wait a minute. Oh, this bottom part comes off. Okay, all right. And then there's like another area under here. Hold up. So we get a pouch in here. Okay, so this is actually gonna be a pouch where I guess you can put like your cables and different things like that. But my question is, is where's the cables? <laughs> this is it, this is, this is all we get. We don't get, we don't even get a charging cable. Bruh, minus two points for that one. Wow, that is next level of savagery, boy. Okay, I guess they say, hey, we give you a case, but you're gonna have to get the cable on your own. <laughs> but anyway, man, let's go ahead and power this bad boy on, man. And let's take a quick little look at this screen. All right, now the first thing that we get here, we got our L1 and R1 triggers, got our L2 and R2 triggers. Now we do get some uh, triggers here on the back, which is nice, because I definitely will need these in something like COD, which, you know, y'all already know, I play a ton of COD. And then we get our volume rocker button here on the left hand side. We get our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We also get our USB C port here, which they didn't include a USB C to C cable, but it's all good because luckily, your boy, we got USB C to C cables around here. And we also get our menu button. We get our menu button here, and then we also get another button here, which we'll find out what that button's gonna do here in a second. Now we get some touch pads here on both sides, which I actually like the fact that they're actually built into the actual hardware itself versus something like the PlayStation Portal. Well, it's actually built into the uh, actual software uh, on there. And so then we also get our Steam button, which I'm assuming this is gonna take us to like the gaming library. And then we get a button over here, which I'm actually not sure what this button is gonna do just yet, but let's go ahead and get it set up. Good thing my up and down button is actually working on the controller. Little inside joke for those that know. <laughs> I will say, man, just while this bad boy is connecting and setting up, I will say I do like the 
feel of it. Uh, it's light. Like, it's really on the same level as something like my uh, Asus RG Ally. When you look at them side by side here, you can get a nice little picture of, you know, as far as the size difference of what this actually is going to look like in comparison to it. Now, it does look like screen-wise, both of the screens seem to be somewhat on par of the same. Now, as far as the length, it does look like the Steam Deck is slightly longer and possibly slightly narrower. So, you know, they look to kind of be about the same, but it definitely, as far as length, uh, the Steam Deck definitely has a little bit uh, more length on it than the Asus RG Ally. But just wanted to show you guys that as far as in comparison goes. And we're going to go ahead and let this install and then uh, check back in with y'all in a second. Now, from what I've been hearing out there, the Steam Deck actually has a better user experience than some of the other handheld gaming devices. I'm actually excited to kind of get an experience of what I'm calling the OG handheld device here um, of, uh, you know, in this gaming space, in this gaming world, man, because I always use Steam um, in itself when it comes to any of these handheld devices, whether it's the Lenovo or the Asus, I always use Steam as the gaming library of choice for me, uh, just because it's, I feel like it's one of the more stable ones um, that's out there. I know a lot of you guys out there you use, I think it's Battle.net. If that's the case, then, you know, you can obviously use what you want to use. But for me, I always stick with Steam as I feel like it's definitely one of the more solid ones that's out there that seems to work the best. Another thing that I can tell just right off the back is something that I'm going to like about this screen here is the fact that it is more of a matte Finish. Now, one of the things that I will say, and I kind of talked about this in my PlayStation Portal video, is the fact that the PlayStation Portal has this glossy screen. So anytime you take that outside and in bright rooms, man, the screen is really hard to see because of that glossy uh, finish that they put on it. But the fact that on here, they put more of a matte finish on here, I can already tell you that this one right here is definitely not reflecting light. And I even have like my studio lighting in here um, and it is not reflecting that light at all, which is definitely something that I like for sure. And that's gonna be something that's gonna be huge when it comes to the screen quality uh, and gaming on this device. Y'all, I feel Dumb. I'm gonna be honest with y'all because I looked all around. I was like, I know dang well that Valve did not give us a product like this and then put like some type of charging cable or, you know, something in the box for us to be able to charge this bad boy up. Listen, y'all, this was a mistake on my end and uh, it, they did give us one. So let me go ahead and, and show you exactly what they gave us while this one here is finished installing uh, the Steam Deck application. So you do get a USB-C uh, charging brick, nice little long cable it looks like. Uh, so yeah, we definitely get one in the box. <laughs> all right, so we got it all installed here. Now it's gonna go ahead and do a reboot. Ooh, ooh. Wait a minute, the thumbsticks got haptic feedback? Oh, that's, oh, that's hard. Oh, that's hard. Okay, that's fire. Anyway, uh, now the one thing I want to kind of tell you guys about, and that is OLED, right? Now, OLED, if you guys don't know, OLED is going to allow for high contrast ratios, which is going to allow you to have more true and richer deep blacks, because when it comes to OLED panels, OLEDs are only going to turn on the pixels when it's actually being needed in real time. So meaning that if it's not actually using those areas, it's turning those pixels off which is what's going to give you that true black uh, and give you high contrast ratios. This is what we're gonna get when it comes to gaming on here. And I game on an OLED television, so I'm a huge fan of OLED panels and OLED monitors. But man, bro, the fact that I can just, the haptic feedbacks on the thumbs, oh, that is, that's hard. <laughs> I literally just wanna sit here and do this all day. Like you can feel every movement. See, man, it's the little things. Now, another thing that I noticed here is that we got front-facing speakers. Now, for me, I'm a huge fan of front-facing speakers when it comes to something like the Asus RG Ally. Is because, man, those front-facing speakers, they just sound so much better than top-firing speakers on something like the PlayStation Portal or even something like uh, the uh, Lenovo Legion Go. So, yeah, I'm excited the fact that we get front-facing speakers on here because uh, I already know the audio quality should be top tier for sure. All right, so we're signing into our account here and now we are on our Steam Deck. Now, right off the back, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The first thing that I noticed that I like about this is I don't have to go through all of the window updates, all of the driver updates, all of all of the extra, extra stuff that you gotta do on all of those other ones, whether it's the Lenovo or the Asus. This one here gets you right into the platform and gets you right into your games, man. And this is something that I definitely 
say that I like about this system just right off the back. Like the setup process is way simpler um, from a handheld device and I'm still able to play my games offline and all of that. And this is something right now that I'm liking about this one already is the fact that I ain't gotta go through all of those extra steps uh, like I do on some of the other ones. But while that's downloading and installing, let's just kind of take a tour here real quick on what some of these buttons will do. So if I press the Steam button, all right, so this is gonna open up like my library of games and different things like that. Uh, I store media, all of that information, settings. All right, cool, so that's what that does. Let's see what this button does. Okay, so this is our quick settings menu. So this is gonna allow us to be able to uh, put it in certain things so we get our notifications. We can see our friends is online, uh, some of the settings for brightness and audio, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all of that. Uh, 90 hertz as far as what we're gonna get as far as our frame rate. Uh, allow tearing, no, we definitely don't wanna do that. Man, I, I love this, man. The fact that this bad boy goes straight there and ain't no extra nothing is clutch. So, so far, man, from the experience of it, uh, just me kind of testing it out, uh, just as far as navigating, as far as the menu, all of it pretty much is on par with just the Steam Deck software uh, that I'm already used to. So I can see, you know, all of my information here as far as my games. Now we're gonna go ahead and let it go ahead and finish downloading Call of Duty. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick test because I do wanna test out gameplay on here as well as the screen quality because that to me is gonna be the major reason why you even thinking about buying this in the first place. All right, so let's go ahead and get some COD in, man, here. Let's get some gameplay going. This game will use the official layout. All right, we booting. Okay, it's not... All right, that was weird. It kind of took me back to the main page. Bro, like, why does it keep taking me back to the same page? We got game info. What is this? Unsupported. It says, Valve testing indicates this title is unsupported on Steam Deck. Some of all the games currently doesn't function on Steam Deck. This game is unsupported on Steam Deck due to use of an unsupported anti-cheat. What? Wait a minute, so I can't play? Oh, this is, yo, this ain't. I don't know, y'all, like, the fact that I can't play Call of Duty on the Steam Deck, which is weird, that doesn't make any sense to me because if I got Steam Deck on my ASUS, my ROG ally here, I can play Call of Duty, no problems, no matter what. But if I own an actual Steam Deck that has Steam Deck built into its own platform, I can't play that same game. Like, to me, that don't, that don't really make any sense. So it looks like from what I'm seeing, uh, and I downloaded a couple other games here just to kind of see. So what I'm noticing, there's a green little check mark by here, and that looks like that's an indicator to games that you are actually allowed to play on this system. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I ain't, I'm not really digging that. That's, wow, okay, all right. I'm not liking that not one bit, but let's let's try Ratchet and Clank. Wow, the fact that I can't play COD on here, that is a big no-no for me. Um, wow, okay, all right, we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna keep going. All right, let's turn the volume all the way up because we wanna experience the full glory of his gaming capabilities. See? Those front firing speakers, y'all, I'm telling you, they sound so good. Now, the first thing I gotta let you guys in on is the screen. Like, even looking at just this shot right here, the screen looks damn good, y'all. Don't you think it's weird to throw a celebration for us? I mean, we haven't done anything heroic in years. I see more of those goons down there. We better get moving before anyone gets hurt. <laughs> Now, I will say, this Mortal Kombat is definitely a game where you're gonna see that OLED really shine. Okay, okay, Steam Deck, I see you, man. Damn, this screen looks. Ooh, this screen looks fire, y'all. Oh, this won't last long enough for that to happen. You will be down in no time.
All right, y'all. So Game and Owner was honestly pretty solid uh, for the most part. Now, one thing that I did notice when it comes to the system here, if I go over to the Steam, you still can actually go to the desktop. I can be able to switch this to a desktop mode um, if this is something that I actually want to do. So for example, let's say you guys out there, you want to watch movies like Netflix and different things like that. You can go ahead and go into like this desktop mode and you can be able to uh, watch all of your movies and stuff like that. So for example, let's go ahead and go into this mode. Now, one thing I will say that I like about this mode, if you guys want to go this route is I love the mouse, man. Like this whole mouse pad that they got on both sides, I feel like it works pretty well. And then once we kind of like done with kind of like just being out there on the web or whatnot, we can always just return right into the gaming mode, which I think is really dope. All right, and boom, just like that, we back into our gaming mode. Uh, all right, so let me go ahead and sit this down for a second, kind of talk about just some of the things uh, about this system. Now, again, this is my very first Steam Deck that I've ever had here on the channel. And uh, honestly, it's my first Steam Deck that I've ever even tried, period. And to be honest, I'm impressed, but then I'm not impressed. Let me explain what I mean. Now, the first thing that I didn't like about this system here is I install Call of Duty and the system allowed me to install Call of Duty only to find out when you guys go to game info here, you get a little message here at the bottom that'll say unsupported. And when you go ahead and go to details, it'll pop up a message here saying that this game is unsupported on Steam Deck due to its use of an unsupported anti-cheat. To me, I didn't like this simply because one, why would you even allow me to download the game if I'm not even able to play it and if your Steam Deck is not even compatible with it. To me, definitely doesn't make any sense, man, why they even allow that. I would personally like them not to even show us games that is not compatible on here, so then that way I'm only seeing games that I know I can play. Now, when it comes to the gameplay, now I did download uh, some Horizon here, download Ratchet and Clank, and I downloaded Mortal Kombat 1 onto here because these are games that I typically will play. Now, when it comes to the uh, gameplay on here because honestly this is the main reason why any of you guys out there gonna even buy this here in the first place is the gameplay got to be tight right now for me gameplay on here was smooth uh, I didn't experience any type of screen tearing or anything like that uh, and again, you're downloading these games, so a lot of these games are gonna run smooth. Now, I didn't go that far into detail as far as like, you know, what the frame rates and different things like that uh, was on here. I just kind of purely based it off of the quality of gameplay that I'm getting straight out of this console here, literally taking it right out of the box, booting it up, and then getting right into the game. I feel like that experience to me was solid. The other thing I wanna talk about here, and I feel like this is the shining star as to why you would even consider buying this system right here, and that's the screen. Now, you can get this screen here in two different styles. Uh, you can get it in this matte finish here, or you can get it in a glossy style finish. Now, for me, because I've already experienced what a glossy style screen um, is gonna get you when it comes to something like the PlayStation Portal that I've done countless amounts of videos on here on the channel, Anytime I took that outside in direct sunlight on a sunny day, trust me, y'all, that bad boy, I couldn't see nothing on that screen because it literally reflected everything off of it. But when it comes to a matte finish screen like this, this is why you buy it, because you want to be able to be able to see your games still in that high quality, but without having to deal with a lot of all the reflections that you're going to get on a glossy style screen. So if it was me, and if you guys are thinking about picking this up, man, I would highly Highly recommend you guys check out and get the matte finish screen uh, versus getting that glossy style screen. Now, the other thing that I kind of want to talk about is just kind of the overall placement of buttons, the whole UI and all of that, right? Now, to me, when it comes to the buttons, let's start with that. I feel like the buttons on here is very clicky. Um, I feel like they're in all good locations. When it comes to the YAXB button, when it comes to the joysticks, when it comes to these trackpads that are freaking phenomenal, man. I, I just love just rubbing my finger uh, on top of these trackpads because again, they both have haptic feedbacks in them and you can literally feel every single movement that you do on these trackpads and it just feels good, man. Uh, the other thing that I will say is that I like about the Steam Deck is the audio quality. I felt like the speakers on the front of these, and again, we talked about this earlier in this video, is the fact that I like the fact that these are having front firing speakers because 
front firing speakers, y'all, are going to give you the best audio quality that you can get out of this because these speakers are firing right at you versus if they have top down firing speakers, these are going to have to go up and then come at you. A lot of audio quality during that transfer is lost, which is why front firing speakers are always going to be a go when it comes to these machines like this. Now, the other thing is that I kind of want to talk about when it comes to the design of this and just the overall experience is the UX design. I felt like when it comes to booting this up, you literally log into your Steam Deck account, man, and you get right into the game center, which is your Steam account. And to me, this is where I feel like this shines over something like the uh, RLG Ally or even the Lenovo Legion Go. It's simply because with those, it's more so Windows-based and very heavy on Windows Focus, although they tell you that it is a gaming handheld PC machine, but I kind of feel like it's more geared towards just being a handheld PC versus it actually being more of a focus on gaming, if that makes sense. Because for those, you're going right into Windows when it comes to these. Like these, you're going right into the Windows platform, and then from there, you might have to download Steam or you know whichever other gaming platform that you guys are going to use when it comes to a Windows machine. But by this one right here running Linux, this one here, yes, you still get the option to be able to still go into kind of like your desktop mode and still be able to browse the web and different things like that. But when it comes to if you guys just want to purely game on this, they have a gaming mode that strictly takes you right into your gaming library and you can just start going crazy on the amount of games you want to download or just even play um, and stream on this device. So for me, the overall experience, I felt like UI perspective, the Steam Deck wins hands down to me uh, over some of the other ones just because the simplicity of getting up and running and getting right into the gameplay was way better on here than it is on any of the other devices I've tested on the channel. That's pretty much it, man. Just wanted to kind of run through the Steam Deck here, give you guys kind of like my first initial thoughts and impressions uh, with using it. Now, I do have some content that's going to be playing with this. If you guys got any questions, anything you guys want me to talk about uh, in future videos or test out here in future videos, then definitely let me know down in the comment section below. As you guys know, I'm always hanging out down there with y'all, man. But Nonetheless, man, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get up out of here. See y'all in the next one. Squad, we out. <laughs>